Hi everyone, welcome to the Stitches and Scribbles channel. My name is Erin and I have a crochet border tutorial for you today. So in case you missed previous videos in this series, I did a couple of crochet and knit washcloth designs to teach you some easy beginner stitches for both knit and crochet. And now we're going to be putting borders on those washcloths to kind of tie everything in together. So this is the single crochet border. It's a really simple way to add a border to your crochet projects. Um, and yeah, <laughs> just a simple tutorial today. Um, I'm just going to address this now um, in case you've noticed a difference, but I am filming on a brand new camera. So if I look different or my setup looks a little bit different. Um, I am in the same basement <laughs> filming in the same place. Um, I just have a very, very different camera lens on this camera compared to my old one. So it's going to look a little different. I'm still playing with how I want to set up my videos and all that stuff. Um, but I thought I'd go ahead and address that now in case you were curious as to why my setup looks different. Um, I also talked about this in the previous knit tutorial as well, but I figured I'd loop all of my crochet friends in as well. Um, without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial for this single crochet washcloth border. For your single crochet edging, you're going to need an already completed washcloth. This is the half double, half double crochet in the third loop stitch washcloth that I did on my channel. You can check out that tutorial if you want. You also need a contrasting color of yarn. This is the Lily Sugar and Cream in plain white. And you're also going to need a crochet hook of a similar size to the one that you used to make your original washcloth. You're gonna start with a slip knot. And I'm going to start on one edge of my crochet piece. You're going to insert your hook, pull that loop through, and do a chain one to kind of start your first stitch. Now we're going to single crochet along the edge. Depending on which edge you're doing, it doesn't really matter if you go into every single crochet stitch. What you really want to prioritize is making sure that you have a neat edge. So if you realize that you've got too many stitches squished together, try spacing them out a little bit. If you realize that your edge is getting really tight because you have too few stitches, try to do some more. This is where crochet can be really nice and flexible because you can kind of change the number of stitches as you go on the edge and everything will be just fine. Keep single crocheting until you reach the corner. You can count stitches if you want to make sure that there's an exact number, but you don't have to. Now I'm single crocheting into my corner stitch. In order to turn the corner, after we do that first stitch, you're going to chain two and single crochet into the same spot to make a nice clean corner. This also sets us up with a space to do a second row if we decide we want to. Then you can keep going along this edge just like you did before. Since this is half double crochet, it's a little bit trickier to work into the edges, but again, just space out your stitches so that they look nice and don't worry too much about getting an exact number. Just insert your needle or your hook where it makes sense. I'm not sticking into any specific spot, so you can see a little bit of variation in what my stitches look like, but that's okay. Again, if you want to be more exact with it, you definitely can, but you really don't have to. You could even do this kind of a single crochet edging on a knit piece if you wanted to. It doesn't even have to be crochet and vice versa. If you're doing a knitted edge, you could do a knit edge on a crochet piece. <clears throat> now that I've reached a corner again, I'm going to chain two and single crochet in that same spot to make the corner. 
and then just keep single crocheting across. Usually one edge will be a lot easier than the others. This happened to be my last row that I did, so it's a little easier to find the stitches on this row. The nice thing about this type of crochet edging is that it works up really, really fast. So you can see it's only been about four minutes of recording this tutorial and I've only got one side left. Since that's a corner, I'm going to chain two, single crochet in the same stitch, and then do my last side. I actually really like a single row, single crochet edging on knit pieces because it adds some structure to the edges. If you're making something like a shawl or a blanket, it can give it a much more finished look. But I like it on crochet pieces too. Pull out some more yarn. Almost there. Once you get to the stitch you started in, you can do a single crochet right in that same stitch that you originally put your hook into, chain two, and do a slip stitch into that first single crochet to join it. Now at this point you could be done if you only want one row of single crochet for your edging, but if you wanted to do two, I'll go ahead and show you what that would look like even though I'm only going to do one. You would start with a slip stitch and single crochet into that first stitch that you just did. Can be a little tight. Then your next spot should be one of those chain two corners. In each corner you're going to single crochet once, chain two, and single crochet again. That makes another corner for your second row. Then you would just single crochet across as normal and repeat those stitches in every corner. I'm just going to leave mine as a single row of single crochet. So I'm actually going to trim my yarn here, loop it through, and then all I have left to do is weave in my ends and this one is done. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed learning how to add a little bit of crochet to the border of your pieces in order to tie everything together. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in similar crafty videos and tutorials, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so that you can be notified of all my crafty content right here on YouTube. If you'd like to follow me on other social media sites, that information will be in the description box below. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.